Catholic Daily Mass Readings July 25th, 2022 Feast of St. James Apostle A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians Brothers and sisters, we hold this treasure in earthen vessels that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always caring about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then we have the same spirits of faith according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe and therefore speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? He answered him, Command this, these two sons of mine, sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, 
and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 